Okay, I will not read all of this, but the, you have on physics theory you know, on the cliff drop, drop, and the height of the cliff is 47 meters. There is some water between below there, and he throwing the two stones. First stone he did throw downwards with some speed, but after one second he throw the second stone even faster. Why? Because they have spla make the splash in the same distance, so it hit the surface of the water at the same distance. So again, this height is 47 meters. The first stone is crawled down with this speed. The second stone is crawled down at unknown speed, but it is held one second later, and this, they hit the surface of the water at the same time. We have some couple of questions. First of all, how long? What is the time? This is the time. What is the time after the release of the first stone? It hits the water. How long? What is the time? This free fall, not free fall, it is in this downward fall with the initial velocity. That is the first question. So let us see how we can calculate that. So we need the time. That is the height. This is the initial velocity. This is the time that we don't know. This is the half. This is rotation acceleration. This is the second. This is time square. This is the equation for accelerated motion with the initial speed. So when you have initial speed, this is the this is the two traverse, and we know distance, we know the initial speed, and we know the rotation acceleration, but we do not know the time. So when we fill this, we will get one quadratic equation, that, and we will solve that, that equation in respect. We solve that equation, that's wrong. So because it's quadratic equation, we derive two, two solutions. One is 2.89 seconds, another solution is negative. We discard it because there is no negative time. And this is to show that mathematics gives some time to the solution that does not exist in reality. But we, as the physicists, should have some common sense to discard something that is not correct. So, this is the time when, you, when that you will, so this is the time that the pebble will fall. For, for 47 meters above, near feet strong with 2.12 meters per second. Okay. Second question is what is the initial velocity second stone to hit water same steps? Okay. What is the question? What is the initial velocity of the second stone? For what time? For that same time. But not exactly. For one second less. So we have 47 meters, we do know that it is travel one second less than this, so 47 meters and it travel 1.1. No, it is height is 47 meters and we calculated the time of the flight in the first one, so time of the flight in the second one will be 1.89 because it's one second less. So it's the same equation, but here is unknown the initial ones to initial speed. So flight time is one second less, and h is unknown. We know this, and we know this. Why? Because of that. You just calculate t1 and t2 with that, and you, when you fiddle with it, you will get that initial velocity 60 meters per second. And we have the third one. What is the speed of each stone? Now we need the final speed for the first stone and for the second stone. So to finish that result, or for complete written answer, please follow the link in the description. If you want more of this, please subscribe and tell your friends. Thank you. Bye.